Charles, why did Cardano opt for Ethiopia before Nigeria, which is Africa's most populous country and largest economy? We opted for Ethiopia because that's where the African Union is based, and there's a lot of programs that we felt were uniquely well suited for what we were doing with Cardano, especially in agricultural technology. Uh, there's a nice ICT base in Nigeria, and frankly, you do Ethiopia, it's very easy to expand into Kenya and to Nigeria. And those four countries alone constitute 400 million people. It's a big chunk of the continent, about 40% of the population. My director for African operations is half Ethiopian uh, and half English. And so uh, it, was a, it was kind of an easy fit. We understood what we were getting into. We saw the dynamics of the country. The other thing is Ethiopia is the only country in the world currently led by a cryptographer. Uh, the prime minister actually was a, a infosec expert who broke codes uh, for the intelligence agencies in Ethiopia during the Eritrean war. So there's very few people around at the head of state level that you can have a computer science conversation with about your papers and actually gets what you're talking about when you say blocks cipher or stream cipher or these types of things. So it was a good combination of, of just luck and coincidence combined with the right environment and population and also Ethiopia a very pan-African view. So once you have a solid base of operations, it's incredibly easy to go to Kenya and Nigeria and Ghana and Rwanda and Uganda and so forth. And it's nice, you know, 107 million people. That's not insignificant.